Hey everybody, this is an introduction of my new mod called KOS. KOS is a fully scriptable autopilot mod for KSP. For the first test today, I'm just going to try to get this ship into orbit. So we're going to write a program to make that happen. Uh, first, let's start off with just a quick countdown. Okay, now we're gonna lock the throttle to 100% and lock the steering to up. I'm gonna add 180 degree roll because all ships in KSP start 180 degrees rotated. And then I'll stage and print a message to the user to let them know where we are in the program. Now I'm gonna wait until the altitude is up to 10,000 meters, which is when I'm gonna start my gravity turn. At that point, I'm gonna lock the steering to 60 degrees east. I still have to put that 180 degree roll in there though. Okay, and let's print another message. Now we're getting close to the point where we need to stage, so we're gonna watch the fuel, and when it gets below a certain level, we're gonna stage. Okay, now at this point we just have to wait for the, the Apple apps to get high enough. And then we're going to cut the throttle and lock the steering to prograde so we're ready for the circularization burn. Okay, next up, we just need to wait until about 15 seconds before the Apple apps. And then we'll go ahead and do our circularization burn. And then we're going to go ahead and let that burn until the periaps gets to the right height. And that'll be the end of the program. Let's save that. Great. Okay, let's see how this goes. So far, so good. Okay, we're coming up to our gravity turn now. And almost immediately, we should be ditching this stage. There we go. Okay, just waiting for the final burn now. Let's time accelerate. Okay, and we're going to start our final burn now, right now.
Okay, program ended. Let's see how we did. Looks stable to me. Okay, so that was pretty boring, and MechJeb could have done a much better job. So let's try something now that MechJeb can't do. We're going to try to launch two ships simultaneously and get them both into orbit, even though we can only control one at a time in Kerbal Space Program. So I'll load up a program that I already made for this test. It's the same program, I just had to make a couple of tweaks, uh, just things that are just not quite working when you're controlling it when you're writing a program for a craft that the player is not in control of okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna assign running that program to action group one and now I'm going to load the program from the archive onto the second ship and also bind that to action group one okay let's see what happens Let's put this over here. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of drifting. Um, it's usually not a problem. Sometimes they hit each other. Uh, sometimes things go very badly. I think we're going to be okay this time. There we go, they both just started their gravity turns. And stage separated. So obviously I've run this test a few times. Uh, usually they're not this close together, usually they've drifted pretty far apart by now, so this is nice. Great, let's time accelerate. Almost there. There we go. Okay, let's see where we are here. Looks good. Just about done. And there we go. That is mission accomplished. Two ships, two stable orbits, and all it took me was two takes. Take one was, of course, a complete disaster, and here it is now for your viewing pleasure. Thanks for watching.